Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome to the first episode of Starbound Mages in Space. <laughs> I just came up with that name right on the fly. Don't you love it? All right, well, since it's the first episode, it is on the Tuesday slot. I think it's time. I need to explain what happened to Osmium because, well, duh. Uh, well, Osmium Craft was supposed to be something along the lines of Mine Crack, but unfortunately, the owners of Osmium Craft, well, he's a little busy than normal, and he didn't, he doesn't have time to really manage the server, so he pretty much gave up on it. And well, it's that's that. I mean, that's really all there was. I mean, I got like what one, two, maybe, yeah, one or two episodes out of it on this last series, and then poof, I go to log in today, and it it's not letting me log in because he changed the server to something else and I have no clue what it is so I'm I'm a wash with it I'm I'm done so here we are we're on playing starbound um I've actually been playing starbound for a while and I've got a player and character already going and that's who I'm going to play ignore cup oil that was a test you can ignore it I'm going to delete him mages there we go that is my character I've uh, been playing this for uh, almost a week maybe a little bit longer I do have some mods installed um, and you'll definitely see it right here as soon as we get logged in uh, the first mod that I have installed is a custom ship mod that pretty much allows me to build a custom ship there it is so I have already built a custom ship here. Here's my cockpit. Check it out. I got a little glitch right in here with the stairs. I don't I don't know. When I come up this here, I have to jump to get over it. I don't know why. But anyway, here's my here's my cockpit. Um, this is well, I mean it's supposed to be my planning room, but eh, I'm still working on it. What I might end up doing, this might be my machine excuse me, my machinery room. Because what you see right here is the foundry this is another mod that i have installed is i have found the foundry and i don't know a whole lot about this mod I'm kind of learning as i go now I, i'm looking up some information here and there trying to figure it out um i will mostly be learning this off camera and then playing fiddling with it on camera um i do have a, a thing that i'm working on right now one such thing i'm working on ooh, one, two. Oops, there we go. One such thing that I am working on is I have a power smelter. I've got energy relays, I've got some solar panels, and I'm going to try at some point to try to get those hooked up and working. Uh, I've, like I said, I've still got a lot more learning to do as far as that goes. So in the meantime, we're going to take this stuff up here and we're going to put it right in here. And this is my, okay, I'm kind of working with it, but not really working with it. Holding cell, yes. I've got a little organization going on already, and it's, it's kind of iffy. I'll figure it out as time goes on. Let's see, neon melon seats. Those are seats. So this goes going my seat thing. Teleporter. You you don't really need the teleporter on your ship. Just saying. I'm just saying, guys. All right. I think that's it from the equipment standpoint. Yep, that's it from the equipment. All right, I've got a lot of stuff. Um, one thing, maybe you can help me with this if you're watching. Is we've got this neat little thing here that compresses pixels into voxels. But I have yet to figure out how to take them back from being a voxel back into a pixel. And as you look in here, I've got one sitting right here that I compressed for testing. And I have yet to figure out how to refine it. So if you know how to refine it, by all means, please tell me. Let me know. All right, so what I've been doing is since I've got this nice mobile command center going on here I pretty much got all my stuff for everything if I need to craft something I'm kind of putting it on the ship so as you see I've got pretty much everything here I have no longer have a home world I, I've decided to leave my home world and we are exploring planets I've pretty much taken on the, the, the Star Trek theme is kind of what I'm doing so we're just moving from planet to planet, exploring it, picking up whatever words we can, trying to get this to full. And the idea is once I get this to full, then I'm going to move to the beta sector and explore the beta sector, explore around the beta sector a little bit. 
and we're going to keep doing that we're going to keep filling up our tank and moving on to the next sector until we've unlocked the last sector and uh, from there we're really just going to explore from star to star from planet to planet and check it out since we don't have to have a home world we don't have any need for it so let me show you where i'm at now all right so this is the first the starting system that i started in uh, right over here as you see this is actually where my started out there was my home world right there the actual planet that i started on i've already explored that and taken all the planet ores i wanted from there i've already explored that i've already explored that i did not explore this asteroid field i, I jumped into it started looking around and decided to leave i was kind of afraid of what would happen if i fell off the asteroid field let's let's be honest with that all right so i have not really left that yet um, I have unlocked the beta sector, but we have not gone there. Once again, I don't know how much fuel it's going to take, so I've just been kind of hanging out and trying to fill up my fuel. So right now we are here, I think. Yeah, I think we're here. So let's, let's leave. Here we go. Come back in. It'll tell us exactly where we're at. All right, so we are here right now on this planet down here. We are... I think I've explored it, but we're going to go on back down to the surface just to make sure that I've gotten it. Hmm. Ah, yes, I did. All right, now, this is the other thing I've been doing is this right here. You see this symbol right there? Anytime I land on a planet, that's the first thing is I do is I build one of these in the background. Reason being is I've noticed that the planets wrap around. So as I'm wrapping, wandering around this planet, oh, wrong button. as I'm wandering around this planet, if I happen to come back to this, then I know that I've gone all the way around the planet. Now, I am normally not digging very deep into the planet. Because uh, I don't really see a need to. Now, there are some ores down deep in the planet that you can't get to at the surface. But the truth is, from my understanding, if I go to the beta sector, I should be able to see those a lot more often there. Yeah, die, freak. Yeah, see, I've got a nice, strong sword going on here. Got some decent armor. And a nice yellow flashlight. I love that yellow flashlight. Ooh, poison. Oh, wait. Darn, I don't like that. I, I never noticed that. It turns it green, makes it look green. Yeah, we'll kill you. And... This, whoa! That was unexpected. Hey, but we got some coal out of it. I mean, that's pretty much what I'm here for, is to gather materials and just keep exploring. Now, we are stuck in the bottom. We're going to have to climb. We're going to have to dig our way out of this place. I wonder if there's a grappling hook. That's what I need. I need a grappling hook. So we're picking up any ores that we happen to see, especially coal, because coal is what I'm using to power my ship. Um, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about the game. I've kind of been learning as I go along. I have not been doing a lot of Google research or Wikipedia research. So as I'm going along, if you see something that I could, that you think I don't know or that you can explain to me and teach me, by all means, tell me. Leave it in the comments and, and, and help me improve my own game because, you know, I'm not that gr I'm not the greatest gamer in the world, especially unless I'm doing a bunch of research and I have not been doing a, a ton of research in this game. So, ooh, I'm hungry. You're friendly, okay? And I know these guys are friendly. You can talk to them. Ah, one thing, another thing I want is I want to find out. And I have yet to find a way, but I've got a bunch of stuff in chests that I want to be able to sell or exchange for some some pixels. Because quite frankly, the progression of pixels in this game is ridiculous. And then you add in the fact that you have to use pixels for crafting, and wow, it's just absurd, really. And if you haven't noticed, I have already been here because I've opened up these paths to make it easier to get through. Ooh, I didn't, don't think I've seen that. Rainbow chair blueprint. You know what? I'll take that. Oh, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll use that. 
do I'll take all the blueprints I can get because yeah, decorations I might use that a rainbow chair yeah so I've been trying to get my ship up to where I don't really have to go through the planet except for anything except for ore gathering and that's really what I'd rather it be is just gathering ores and and materials from the planet so that I do all my crafting on shipboard. Uh, you've, you might have also noticed that I've also got a nice, I got a decent garden of corn growing. Um, I tend to just use corn because I don't really see the purpose in changing out crops. You know, it's not like your character gets finicky or, or diseased or something just because he's only eating one, one type of fruit or food. I mean, you know, just my opinion. Now, I did, as part of the exploration thing, is I did dig a hole all the way down to lava and below. And when I mean by below, I dug down as far as it would let me go. And the way you do that is I used dirt to replace the lava to build myself a nice little tunnel to go all the way down. And I literally got all the way down to the bottom of the world. And... I was surprised to find out that once you hit that bottom, it's instant death. Ooh, I am, speaking of death, I am about to die. Where's my tent? I have a tent. Where's my tent? Put my tent back on my bar, freaks. I don't want the coal up there. On my tent and my campfire. Oh, not the camp. I don't have a campfire. Oh, no. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to make another campfire. So, do that. So, that's pretty much what I did. Is when, In my early game, the first planet I explored, I found a tent. So, I kind of picked that tent up and I've been carrying it along ever since. And anytime I get close to dying on a planet, I just place the tent down and sleep. And that's what I'm doing right now. Just sleep in. So I'm going to try to make this as interesting as possible. And, you know, I don't know. We'll see. If, if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. I kind of like the game. I think it's pretty awesome, honestly. Now, I did. I have played Terraria. Um, actually, I played the heck out of Terraria. I got all the way... I beat the, the Wall of Flesh and got into the, you know, the after game, I guess which we would call it, where they've got some other bosses and stuff. And quite frankly, I started to get bored because the, the, the requirements for gathering and stuff, once you get past the Wall of Flesh, it's just extraneous. And the, the crafting and stuff is just blah. So I, I didn't I gave up on it. I get, it bored me. It really did. So then there came this game. And the major thing about this game that I really kind of like is you're not just stuck with just one planet. I mean, when you have just one planet that you're that you're exploring, like in Terraria, after a while, it's kind of like, blah, I've already explored all this. The only thing I can do is really dig deeper here, dig deeper there. I've already been to the bottom. I'm just kind of wandering around and looking for new ores. And it's tedious. Whereas here, okay, you finish exploring a planet, no big deal. Get back on your starship and go find another planet because you're not done yet. There's hundreds upon thousands of planets out there that you can go explore. Die, freaks. So the game just kind of keeps going on and on, which I think is really cool because there's always more planets to explore. Granted, yeah, there's only so many types of planets, but you never know. You know, it, it can keep getting interesting. You can make it more interesting. Like I said, Star Trek themes, you know? To boldly go where no man has gone before. To, what was I don't know the word. To boldly seek out new life, new civilizations, wherever they may exist, and to bring peace and prosperity. I don't know the whole thing. I'll have to look it up, but I'm not quoting it, you know. But it's Star Trek, so this is kind of, kind of the same thing. So, like I said, I do have a few mods. Another mod that I have installed 
is one that automatically opens doors as I walk up to them. Um, that's always been an, a pick of mine with Terraria and certain other 2D games like this. You're walking up to it. It knows you're walking up to it. There's no reason it shouldn't have the door automatically open for it. It's actually quite tedious to have to position your mouse, mouse just so to open the dang door. So I kind of like that, so I put that in here. I uh, believe I've also got a mod. Now, I don't know. I haven't validated that it's installed correctly, but I tried installing another mod that changes the amount of pixels that are lost on death. Um, by default, you lose 30 pixels on death. By default. So I set it to 10%. Not 30 pixels, sorry. 30%. So when you die in, in here, you're going to lose 30% of your pixels. And your pixels are right up here on the upper right hand corner of the screen. You notice I have 1,244. So by default, you will lose 30% of those bad boys when you die. So I changed that to 10%, which gives me a little bit more chance, you know, because I'm not, I'm not the best gamer in the world. I'm chances I'm going to die a couple times. So that kind of lowers, whoa. Ooh. Kind of makes it so it's not quite as scary to die, you know. Eh, I'm only going to lose a couple bucks now. I'm not going to lose all that much. And I see that piece of ore walking down through there, see? Ooh, it's getting dark and creepy. This planet, oh my god, when it gets dark on this planet, it is scary as hell. I don't know how many times I've died on this planet already when it got dark. Ooh. You see a manic Nog soldier, keep your eyes downwards and your hands still. Right. Nothing in there. Oh! Freak! I'm going to have to go sleeping again. Looks like we have a house coming up over here. A little building or some sort. But because this is a game that I'm actively playing right now, that also means that I'll probably get a lot more done off camera than I do with some of my other games. Like, for instance, Wizard Training. I don't do a whole lot off camera. Uh, I do go mining every now and then and gathering equipment. But that's generally about it. Human, do not cross the minute knock. Okay, well, thanks for the warning. Whatever the hell the minute knock is. I guess we might find out. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk to other species. Really? You smell like wet apex. Well, thanks. Gee, the Christmas. There's a lot of you here. I would join you for a drink human, tonight, human, but I'm washing my hair. Could you lend me some pixels? I almost, I can almost afford to escape this place. What are you? Body slam. Names based on the attack that they do. Ooh, look. Coal. Which means if there's coal right here. Nope. I see nothing. Water. There's a chest down here in the water. Pulse jump blueprint. Sure, we'll take that. Always welcoming new new blueprints. Oh, no, we already know it. Fair enough. So... I'll leave that right there where I found it. Need some air here. I'm drowning. Help me, I'm drowning. Alright, what do you got to say? I've always wondered what it would be like to kiss a human. Well, come here, come here, come here. Have you heard about those strange burning men, human? Burning men? No. Hey, I'm going to borrow your bed for a minute, though. Gee, thanks. All right.
Ow, punk! Gee, my Christmas. Do you humans enjoy bananas as much as we apex? Sometimes. You must get cold without much body hair. Right? You must get hot with all that hair. Anything down here? Should I be afraid? Nope. I am sure our glorious leader would extend his generosity to humanity if asked. What is it like amongst the stars, human? I dream of escape. It's awesome, dude. You should come with me. Ooh, I can get a lot of plant fiber here. I should be picking that stuff up. I should definitely be picking that stuff up. Fish! Fish, fish, fish has died, 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 fish has died. Hey, why don't you? Oh, we got an orgy going on here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, bye, guys. I've always wondered what it's like to kiss a human. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Punk? Dude, you just start shooting me out of the blue? What the hell? Okay, so you must be the soldiers they warned me about. Whew. Alright, so these must be their leaders. Okay. Oh, this is going to be bad up here. This is going to be very bad up here. Alright, let's see. Let me get stuff out of here. How many other stem packs? No, I don't normally use stem packs. I've been very bad about it. Gotcha both. Ha ha. What's this here? Oh, yes. Let's sleep it off. Before we go after the other ones. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to take these guys quickly. Might help if I had my sword out. Haha. -ha. Go away. Hunting we will go, hunting we will go. I will take out the oppressors. Unlike Star Trek, I do not have the policy of no interference. Hmm. What is this? This is... I don't know the shortcut for that. Some kind of access panel. It doesn't seem to require a power source. Really? Access panel to what? What are these? Avian. Okay. Alright, well, we're done with this. Let's go on down. Oh! Bad idea. Bad idea. Dude, that was stupid. Yeah, let's jump to our death. Okay. Anyone happen to see how well my how much money I had? Ah, I got that. So thirteen hundred. So it looks like maybe ten percent is all it's doing. So while we are here, let's go ahead and smelt our our, our gold. Our, our yeah, 
our crops, the ores that I've obtained. See, I've been gathering quite a bit. Look at that. 213 pieces of copper bar. More than that now. Look, 218 copper bars. Yeah, buddy. See, what else? I've got more ores in here somewhere. I need to clean up my inventory. That's what I need to do. No, we're only got one piece. What have I got up here? Cathex Rage. Ooh! Guns! I have guns. Yeah, buddy. The damage per shot one, energy per shot two. So this one shoots faster? Which one shoots faster? I don't know, let's find out. Oh wow, they damage stuff too. Okay, so I might actually keep that. That's kind of cool. I need some... Awesome, I like that. Okay, so this one is faster. Yeah, okay, 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 all right. So this one has 15.79, this one has 14.15. So maybe that, that speed thing... No, the higher the number, the faster it is. That's what it looks like. Okay, so this is gunk. See, this is what I'm saying. It, it's that I'm sure has some sort of value. Okay, well that one doesn't. Okay, but I've got stuff that has value like this. That instead of destroying it, I'd love to break it down and get some of the some of the money back. So if you guys know of a mod that'll let me do that, even if I get money back from putting it in trash, that's fine. But if you know of a mod that does it, by all means, let me know. See, this one has, whoa, 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 nine damage per second. Eleven, oh, but it's a little bit slower on the speed, right? Ooh, but it's still cool. I might switch out to the guns. Yeah, buddy. So one energy per shot, but this one takes more energy. Uh. So I'm going to run out of energy faster with this one than I will with the other one. But it does a, has a little bit higher damage per second rating. I don't know. Well, I know that this down here. God, it's off screen. I want it on screen. Dude, seriously, bring it up. Okay, that one doesn't show its damage rating. Okay. I don't really count that as a gun. Cause it, yeah, it's a single use. Okay, I've got some raw alien meat over here. Let's put that up. And process all my stuff while I'm here. And I have really got to organize here. Organism. Alright. Still don't know. Avian Blaster, some so they're both Avian Blasters. Cathex Rage or Sunborn's Wrath. I think I'm gonna go with stick with Cathex Rage, even though it has a lower damage per second, it has it a little bit higher sh shot per second thing, so that's pretty cool to me. Uh, let's see what I need. I need the corn seed. We're gonna replant some corn here. That's just for sustaining yourself. Now we're going to take all that corn and make it into sweet corn. Now I have up 37. And that will grow fast. I mean, generally, every time I come back to the ship, those are full grown. So I'm happy with that. All right, we need to organize. I keep saying that. Let's go organize. Let's go organize. All right, now this should be plants. So that would be that. The ore stay with me. I do use those. Well, that's ores. This goes over in the ship's thing container over there. Do, do, 
those of you who watch my show normally, that sound means that we are out of time. But I'm going to finish up with what I'm doing for the heck of it. But, see, I've got all of these stim packs and I don't really use a whole lot of them. Um, I don't really know what they all do. I know I've looked it up once, but I just don't use them enough to remember it. So, ooh. Now, all this stuff over here, I don't really have it organized per se. Uh, I've been trying to kind of organize it as I go, but it's not really... It's, a lot of this stuff isn't really stuff that I can really organize. Okay, that needs to go there. I guess this can go in here. Sunborn's Wrath, you've got a value, so I can put you at the end piece. Let's throw that in there. I don't need that since I got one up there. Um, let's get back up here. And if we're switching to guns, can I put this on the L? Sword. Gun. Weird. So why does it do that? All right, whatever. Fine, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna, well, we are gonna take this off of here, and I'm gonna keep it right over here in case we need it. All right, that's gonna be it. All right, so I'll finish organizing this off camera. As always, a like, a comment, and a share lets me know that you care. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.